Hello everyone, I'm Rich Stocks. In 1997, I heard a cassette tape by veterinarian naturopathic physician, Dr. Joe Wallach. The title was Dead Doctors Don't Lie. Dr. Wallach's book and audio, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, now has sold hundreds of millions of copies all around the world, has become the most popular health lecture in the world. So not only did I begin following Dr. Wallach's nutritional, guidelines, his wellness guidelines, I began sharing his message with everyone I knew. And 25 years later, I'm still sharing Dr. Wallach's message. I'm excited to share it with you today. The full Dead Doctors Don't Lie audio is available free of charge on our website, mineraldoctor.com. Mineraldoctor.com. You can listen to the same lecture that I listened to 25 years ago, and it's free of charge. There are several other videos available free of charge right there on that website. And then we have two other websites that might be of interest to you uh, for Bible teaching. We have a uh, on our YouTube channel, the Rich Stocks, the Healthy Christian, but the website is richstocks.org, richstocks.org. And then for those who want to reduce, maintain, and control their weight, simple3slim.com. On the mineraldoctor.com website, Right there on the home page, there are two steps that I highly recommend you take right out of the gate. As soon as you visit the website, number one, take our free health evaluation. It does not obligate you to anything. Um, it'll tell you a lot about yourself, about your body, about your, what your body might be nutritionally deficient in. That's the purpose of that, so that you can identify uh, the areas of your body that need additional nutritional support. And then schedule your free phone consultation with one of Dr. Wallach's associates. Again, it's free of charge, does not obligate you. But if you are interested in Dr. Wallach's products, they will help you uh, maximize, get the most for your money, and to meet the specific needs related to you. So in our last video, we talked about Dr. Wallach's three steps to better health. Let me review those real quickly because it leads right into the lesson today. Today, we're going to talk about Dr. Wallach's good food, bad food list. Good food, bad food. But Dr. Wallach's three steps to better health were simply this. Number one, you identify the problem. You identify the health category uh, or the tissue of your body that's breaking down. We saw that almost all health challenges fall into one of these four categories. Hard tissue problems at your bones, your joints, skeletal system. Soft tissue problem that's your skin, your eyes, your heart, your lungs, your organs. Number three, blood sugar problems. Number four, digestive problems. And then we talk to you about the different health packs that you can get all 90 of Dr. Wallach's, his 90 essential nutrients, that's his message. There are 90 essential, don't go, don't fall for the trap of what we call fractionated nutrition. People will hear Dr. Wallach's message and I'm amazed. I say, hey, what'd you think of that? Oh yeah, it was great. Uh, I went to the health food store and I bought some chromium and I bought some selenium. It seems those are the two things that jump out at people. Sometimes they might have bought some calcium well. All of these nutrients work together, my friend. 90 essential nutrients. You don't go and do the fractionated nutrition route. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Dr. Wallach has put all 90 essential nutrients together in three products. Say, so why is there four products? These two are the same, other than some people like a liquid, some like a powder. Okay? But all 90 essential nutrients right here in these three products. We call it the Healthy Body Start Pack. And then we saw if you add this product, now you have a Healthy Bone and Joint Pack to give you extra support uh, for your bones and joints. Then if you have soft tissue problems, we saw you can add these two products here. And now you have a Healthy Brain and Heart Pack to help give you additional uh, support for soft tissue problems. Then we saw if you have blood sugar problems, you add this product right here. We call it Sweet Ease. And lo and behold, you have a healthy blood sugar pack. They give you extra support. Supports and promotes healthy blood sugar. And then we have these two products that if you have digestive problems, 
you add these two products, you have the healthy digestion pack. So anyway, that is the simplified, the quick version of that. You can watch the video uh, where we go into more detail on that. But step number one was you identify the problem. Step number two, I just told you here basically, is then you use the appropriate pack and the appropriate dose according to body weight. This is where the phone consultation comes in. Uh, it's going to be very helpful for you. And then step number three we said was this, <clears throat> clean up your diet. What does that mean? Now there are a lot of people who like to skip the first two steps. You start talking to them about Dr. Wallach and his products. Oh, I eat healthy. Well, there's no such thing. You can clean up your diet. We're going to talk about it, good foods and bad foods. But just know this, we've already shown you clearly in these other videos, if the nutrients are not in the soil, they're not in your food. It's just that simple. If you're a vegetarian, they're not in your plants. If you're a meat eater, like I am, if, if they're not in the grass that the cow eats, they're not in your steak. You, you have to supplement, my friends. There's no way around it. All it means when people say eating healthy, usually they mean eating organic. And just know this, I do eat organic. I like it. Every chance I get, it costs more, but I can afford it now. Years ago, I couldn't. So I eat organic. But all that means is, no pesticides were sprayed on, these, on the foods. Doesn't add one nutrient of the 90 essential nutrients, just so you know that. So step number one, you identify the problem. Step number two, appropriate pack, appropriate dose. Step number three is you clean up your diet. Here's how you do it. You eat the foods that maximize absorption and then you avoid the foods that hinder absorption. So here is Dr. Wallach's good food, bad food list. I'm just gonna read it verbatim. Again, this is available. You don't have to try to memorize it or take notes. Um, this is available. What I'm looking at right now, I simply printed, copied and pasted, printed directly off my website, mineraldoctor.com. So here's the good food list, eggs, soft scrambled in butter, soft boiled or poached, fish, chicken, pork. Now some people don't eat pork, that's fine. It is on Dr. Wallach's good food list, doesn't mean you have to eat it. Lamb, beef, if you're a beef eater, and I'm a beef eater, just so you know. Dr. Wallach has a saying, I uh, should have a t-shirt made like this, a day without a hamburger is like a day without sunshine. He used to say that all the time. He was raised on a beef farm uh, in Missouri as a child. So he, he likes to eat beef. But you don't want to eat your, if you're going to eat meat, beef, steak, you want to eat it either rare or medium rare. So this is where you see the study. Say, well, Rich, I saw this study that eating red meat is carcinogenic. What does that mean? Cancer causing. Yes, if it's cooked, if it's overcooked. It's the cooking process. It's not the meat. It's the heat that getting those meat, that meat to such high temperatures, okay? So beef, red meat, it's on Dr. Wallach's good food list, but you want to eat it rare or medium rare. Not medium, not medium well, and for sure not well done. That is a very, very unhealthy thing to eat your meat. Um, medium well or for sure for well done, right? Mixed or salted nuts, no peanuts. Now, I wasn't going to take the time to share this, but years ago, I believe it was, uh, there, was some, there were bears that were dying in the zoos in the United States. I'm wanting to say it was uh, the panda bear. I could be wrong about that. It's been a while since I told this story. But Dr. Wallach was called in. Uh, he used to work with uh, Marlon Perkins. For those of you um, up in years, you remember the Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Well, Dr. Wallach worked with him. And he was called in to the zoos to determine why are these bears dying of cancer. They were getting pancreatic cancer. And he determined they were feeding them moldy bread, moldy bread, which contained a specific virus that was causing the cancer in the bears. Well, Dr. Wallach says, I've not heard anyone else say this, but he says that peanuts carry that same virus. So Dr. Wallach does not eat peanuts. 
So on our good food list, we have mixed salted nuts. Dr. Wallach's big on salt. If you listen to the lecture, you'll hear him talk about every farmer puts out salt. One of the first thing he puts out for his livestock is a salt block. But he does not eat peanuts, and that is the reason. Beans are on the good food list. Any gluten-free carbohydrate except oats. We'll talk about that in a minute. Rice, millet, pure buckwheat, quinoa. Corn, if it's non-GMO corn. That's very important. We're on the good food list. Vegetables, fruits, if you're not diabetic. If you have blood sugar problems, I wouldn't eat any fruits until you get it under control. You know? uh, and again, the healthy blood sugar pack can help you uh, give you additional uh, support in that area of blood sugar. Dairy, unless you have a dairy allergy. Many people do, but if you don't, dairy's on the good food list. Salt, there again, I've already mentioned it. Nut butters with no extra sugar. Dr. Wallach's not big on a lot of sugar. Lard and butter. He believes in cooking in lard. Rendered fat from meat. Four to eight ounces, four to eight ounce glasses. Four to eight eight ounce glasses of filtered water each day. So he's big on drinking water and avoiding the soft plastic bottles that could be harmful. Coffee's on the good food list. I've never drank coffee in my life, but my wife drinks it, all my kids drink it, all my friends drink it. I've just I've never drank it. Tea, green tea, and red wine. If you're a wine drinker, Dr. Wallach uh, is, is big on red wine, the health benefits of red wine. Now, the bad food list. Here we go. These first four fall into a category that's called gluten. Gluten is one thing that I do not touch. Dr. Wallach will not. It's not like sugar. Sugar, you're not going to eliminate 100% of all sugar in your diet. Or let me say this. It would be very difficult in this country. But with gluten, and same way with dairy. If you have a dairy allergy, you can cut down on the dairy and see some benefit. Gluten is not that way. It's all or nothing. So it kind of amuses me when I see people, they'll, you know, because it takes a process. It took me two or three weeks to get used to eating gluten-free. Now I find anything I like, you can find a gluten-free version. Pizza, pasta, gluten-free cookies, anything that you like, chips, you're, you can find a gluten-free version. But there are people that think they can just cut down on gluten. No, you might as well just eat all the gluten you can get. It's all or nothing. We have another doctor in our company that says it like this. Being gluten-free, it's like being pregnant or not pregnant. Every woman is either pregnant or not pregnant. Okay? There is no in-between. You're pregnant or you're not pregnant. Well, you're either gluten-free or you're not gluten-free. I think it's a great analogy. Sugar, you can cut down. Dairy, you can cut down if you need to. But with gluten, it's all or nothing. Gluten-free or not gluten-free, there's no great benefit to cutting down. So here are the four foods that fall into the category of gluten on the bad food list. Wheat, barley, rye, and oats. Even gluten-free oats. Just because it says gluten-free oats, oats, Dr. Wallach teaches had the same, um, the same compound as the gluten that you find in the wheat, the barley, the rice, the rye. And here's what the problem with gluten, people will say, well, Rich, I don't have a gluten allergy. It's not an allergy. I don't have a gluten sensitivity. It's not just a sensitivity. Gluten is, you say, and, and another argument I hear is, well, what about the wheat in the Bible? Well, what you're seeing today is a man-made wheat. It's a hybrid. It's not, it's not real. They have made these products. You know, the wheat today is made so that the insects won't eat it. <laughs> so people are eating, consuming what the insects won't eat. Even the insects are smart enough to know, I, we're not going to eat this stuff. That's what gluten is. And it wreaks havoc on your digestive system. It's not just an allergy. People say, oh, I don't have any problem with gluten. So you think. You may not have a problem today. It just hasn't caught up with you yet. So gluten, um, it destroys 
the digestive system. And if there's one step you could take, that is the first thing Dr. Wallach tells everyone in his lectures, step number one, get off of all gluten. And that is wheat, barley, rye, and oats. That would be, just that alone, would be a tremendous step to better health for you. Even before you start the supplements, you can still take the supplements, but the gluten will hinder absorption. Some people aren't going to get off gluten, and we understand that. Can't make you do it. But it will be a big benefit, and then you're going to get more out of the money that you're spending on the products because you're going to absorb more. So enough about gluten. Fried food. Fried food, it makes me cringe. I'm not going to say I never eat a gluten. Zero for me. Fried food, I'm very conscious. You want to cut down as much as you can because when you heat those oils, when you cook something in oil, those become carcinogenic. Very, very harmful. All fried foods. Which leads to the next, oils. Even oils in a bottle. And now there are... Um, there are books out, there are teachings about this oil is good for you, olive oil, all these things. It doesn't make any difference if it's pure virgin, virgin, virgin olive oil, all of things, coconut oil. When, you, when oil is exposed to air and heat, so if you're taking oil out of a bottle, every time you open the bottle, it's exposed to oxygen and it begins to break down. It begins to become rancid through a process called oxidation. And it becomes harmful for you, even if you're not cooking with it, for sure, when you heat those temperatures, very bad for you. So get rid of all oil, and this is the one that Dr. Wallach gets the most uh, opposition in his live lectures. People will raise their hand, what about this oil? Finally, he gets tired of it, and he just shouts out, if it's spelled O-I-L, get rid of it. So that's enough said on that. No oils in a bottle if you want to follow Dr. Wallach's guidelines. Well done red meat. We talked about that a moment ago. If you're going to eat meat, meat's on the good food list, but make sure you eat it rare or medium rare. Any nitrates or nitrites, where do we find these? You especially find these in lunch meat. Now they do make lunch meats. I like lunch meat myself. It's such an easy thing to eat and it's quick and, and it's good. It's on the bad food list only if you're getting the nitrates and the nitrites. You can actually get a deli meat now that doesn't have any nitrates or nitrites. And that's what I do. It says it right on the package, even some of the well-known brands. Um, no carbonated drinks of any kind within one hour before, during, or after you take your supplements. So he doesn't say uh, no carbonated drinks at all. They're not great for you. They're on the bad food list, but for sure, if you're going to drink them anyway, don't drink them. They dilute your stomach acid. They hinder the absorption of these nutrients. And then the skin of baked potatoes, it's not the skin that's bad. It's the baking process. So if you boil your potatoes, and this is any kind of potato, if you boil your potatoes, it's okay. But when you bake those potatoes, now, baked potato, don't misunderstand me. A baked potato is not on the bad food list. It is the skins of a potato that have been baked. And again, it has to do with the temperature getting high. Those skins then become carcinogenic. So if you want to boil your potatoes, and my son tries to argue with me, oh, the skins are the best part. They're good for you. Theoretically, he's right, other than he's misinformed on the fact that they become carcinogenic when you heat them up. Guys, we're out of time for today. That is Dr. Wallach's good food, bad food list. You can print this, you can view it or print it in its entirety by going to our website, mineraldoctor.com. Be sure you take the free health evaluation and then schedule your free phone consultation. And we are looking forward to hearing from you and hearing the great things that Dr. Wallach's message and his products do in your life very soon.